Hey folks, Techniverse here. Today I have a public service announcement about the Creality SE, uh, excuse me, the Creality CR6 SE, and it's kind of a big one. So if you haven't heard the news about the fatal flaw in this printer, stay tuned. The Techniverse channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. All right, folks, this is the Creality CR6 SE desktop printer. This is their open source uh, Kickstarter printer. They raised around $4.4 million to build this printer on Kickstarter, okay? Uh, everything I've heard about the print quality and the build quality have been pretty amazing. I've heard some good things, and I haven't really heard anybody complain. But today, I noticed that Creality has been having some issues. So what we're going to do... Let me get that back out of the way. Is just kind of take a look over this article right here um, because they put out a statement and it says, Dear customers, for those of you who have recently purchased the Creality CR6 SE, thank you. And then there's a lot of blah, blah, blah. And you have our profound apologies. This is not how we normally do business. In fact, it has always been how we set ourselves apart from our competitors. Now, I assume that they're talking about ANET here um, because the problem that they're having is the machine actually catching on fire. So, do not leave this machine unattended. Do not leave this machine unattended. It says that they're working on resolving it, keeping it from ever happening again, and during the meantime, they prefer to be overly cautious and request that customers not leave their CR6 unattended while printing. It says they'll provide detailed information as soon as they have it, and again, please accept our sincerest apologies for the inconvenience. Now, you'll notice in here, if you take a look at this page, that they are saying that it is not... Um, uh, so right here, the fault is well documented and in no way the result of user error or incorrect use. Those two possibilities have been eliminated. Our engineering department is now in the process of determining the design flaw or quality control issue. And we appreciate your patience and within five days intend to have an answer as to what the problem is. So I'm assuming that whatever the problem is that they're going to send people a fix for it. Um, but uh, there is a complaint here from a user, the 3D printing Belgian. Uh, this is something that he tweeted. It said, another one just burned up. I think it's time to publicly make a statement now. This is like the eighth dead unusable CR6 that I've seen in less than two days. This is getting stupid. Yes, this guy had it at 115 volts. And this is what happens. So, um, if, you, if you end up in this situation and you're not nearby, you're going to have a giant dumpster fire, basically. Now, I'm certain that Creality will make this right. Their name is on the line, and they're a big name in 3D printing. Nobody wants to be thrown in a pile with ANET, who is still trying to recover from the disasters they had from their smoldering ANET A8s. Now, I will tell you, ever since then, I have purchased, well, not purchased, I've tested out several ANET printers between now and then, um, and I haven't had a single problem with any of them, and they supposedly have fixed that issue. So I'm certain that Creality will fix this issue as well, it's just something that you need to be aware of. Also, it kind of bothers me that ANET is not halting sales of the machine, and, or excuse me, Creality is not stopping sales of the machine until they figure out the flaw. They're going to continue to send out faulty units until they fix the problem, basically. So uh, what they need to do is just send everybody a letter and tell them, hey, we're not shipping any more units until we figure out what the problem is. If you've ordered one, it's now on back order. And I'm sure people would much appreciate it being a week or two late uh, rather than having to deal with their house burning down while they're not around. So um, that's basically it. This has been a public service announcement. I uh, hope it was helpful to you guys. And I, I, just to be clear, I am not dogging on Creality. I love Creality. My first printer was an Ender 3. You can see it behind me back there with the yellow on it. Uh, I have an Ender 3 version 2 coming. And I really, really love Creality machines. I have their resin printer, the LD002R. Um, and I am planning on trying the CR6 SE eventually. Um, I think I'm probably going to wait until they resolve this issue. And to be honest, uh, if you're going to get a CR6 anything, I'm way more interested in the belt version of the printer. And it's going to be a while before that's available. So um, that's going to be it, guys. If this video was helpful to you, leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think Creality really needs to do to make this right for its buyers. Because this, again, this is a Kickstarter project. People funded this so they didn't have to use their own money for the design, uh, and this is just kind of a huge fail. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, 
The merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers. And so far, I am just about to hit 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel. But they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out. And know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.